Welcome to our porch. This is my uh, first attempt at a video, so uh, kind of new to this. So we'll see. I'm how out it goes. here, this old uh, field in town here, and uh, it used to be uh, where they had the circuses and everything. You know, early 1900s. Uh, my next door neighbor, she's 87. She remembers coming to the circus out here, Mrs. King. And uh, digging this hole. And I sure popped it out. I don't know where it went. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Believe it or not, guys, that is my first. That is the first for me. It might not be much to anyone else, but that one Indian head penny is worth a million dollars to me. Oh, my gosh. I think it's 1896. So, uh... I'm digging nippy signals. I'm not being picky today. That is in really good shape. I'm, I'm astounded by that. I really am. I mean, that is just, it's clean. On to the next. Well, I didn't live dig this one because I have dug up about 50 pounds of freaking trash. But man, that is sweet. It's a dog tag. 1918-1919 to go along with my 1896 Indian head. What a find. What a find. I've never got one. This is a bucket lister. Oh, man. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. <laughs> I just can't get over it. Still doing this old uh, circus ground. And I dug the 1896 uh, Indian head over there. And you can see how far I've got. I'm digging everything. But to come up with that, that is just freaking awesome. Just awesome. Come on, focus. Oh, well, I'll put it back on there. It'll focus on there. There we go. 1918-1919 dog tag. That's a bucket lister. Cool deal. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm back to the sidewalk strip where I found the 1918 dog tag and uh, 1896 wheat. I think that's about where I left off, somewhere in there. Uh, but this used to be an old circus uh, ground for the town. When the circus came town, it would come here. And I don't know exactly how long this uh, brick uh, sidewalk has been uh, buried. But I've worked the sidewalk already on the uh, street side and uh, right in here, the edges of the sidewalk. So anyway, if uh, we find anything good, I'll be back. Uh, I'll put at the tail end of this video... Uh, the find of the uh, dog tag and uh, the 1896 wheat. Alright guys, happy hunting. Be back soon. It's an Indian. I don't know if I can get a date off of it or not. But that's the second Indian I've found in this uh, 
strip I'm working. So I'm I'm figuring it's probably about the same age, 1900s or so. But uh, that's a nice find. It's my uh, third hole, I think. Got uh, aluminum out of the first two, but I'm digging everything now. After I found that uh, dog tax tag, I'm just digging everything. But anyway, folks, uh, you gotta love it. I'm gonna keep digging. Well, I finally got a chance to clean that Indian up. And it is uh, 1902. I had to take a toothpick to it, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's keep digging. Yeah, that rang up like a quarter. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I uh, didn't go crazy down there and uh, stick my hand down in there without using the fletch first. Yeah, looks like a quarter, huh? I don't even know the name brand. <laughs> keep digging. Yeah, I'm working this field, uh, used to be the old circus ground back in the 20s and 30s. And, uh, this is where I found the 1902 wheat. I'm not wheat, but an Indian head. And same day I lost it. I think it's in my car, but anyway. Uh, I found a 1918-1919 dog tag the other day. And take a look what I just found. A 1920 to 1921 dog tag. That's pretty awesome. Two dog tags was win 20 yards of each other from different years. 1918 was the last one, and this one's 1920 to 21. Well, there's what you dig when uh, <laughs> you're out looking for treasure. Uh, yeah, I dug a lot of garbage today. Quite a frustrating day, to tell you the truth. Found that 1902 uh, Indian head, and somehow or another, I lost it. So, uh, tune in again. If you like, thumbs up. Now, guys, I want you all to tell me what the odds of this are. Yesterday, I found this. 1918-1919 Worcester County Dog Tax. Okay, today I found this, 1920 to 1921 dog tag, about 20 yards from where I found the other one. Yes, Worcester County, they taxed dogs in 1920 and 1918. That is just totally unreal. Both of them feel like they're made of brass. Got good weight, heft to them. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to call that new field, or that field over there that I'm working right now, the field of dreams. Because it certainly made me happy. That's for sure. It brought my dreams come true. And there's my puppy. Hello, Ruby. Ruby. Hello. Hello. What are you doing, Ruby? Do. <laughs> She's not into the YouTube, obviously. But that is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And this one here, when I found that and saw that reeded edge down in the hole, I almost crapped on myself. 
because I didn't know what I had. Wasn't no dirt on it at all. It was like it was silver or something. It must be brass. Pretty sure it is. But awesome. Two days in the same field and just incredible to find these two dog tags. They probably mean as much as uh, 1896 and uh, 1902 uh, Indian head. Alright guys, that's all for now. Talk to you later. Remember to like.